You described yourself as David Cameron's number two. Uh, why don't you take the title of deputy leader? Oh, we don't have to have titles, uh, all these titles. And actually the history of people and relationships with the title deputy in the Conservative Party isn't a very, isn't a very happy one. Uh, so I, I'm happy. I, I chair David's meetings. I stand in for him if he's you are de facto not there. Two. But we were. It's very much a team effort. You know, if you look at George Osborne as shadow chancellor, uh, he is so central to everything that we do, uh, to David's whole approach to the party. We don't really look at ourselves as a hierarchy, and I don't think we need deputy titles. Many conservatives say privately that. Uh, they think the party will win. You will become foreign secretary. You'll do that for a couple of years. You'll enjoy it. They think you'll be good at it. And then you'll decide your political career is over. I won't be a politician for the whole of my working life, I don't think. I love writing. I miss writing now. And I will go back to it one day. But I think a couple of years wouldn't be uh, that much of a contribution to the next Conservative government. I think it will be, well, I hope it will be quite a lot longer. Will you fight that. the election after next? Oh, I would imagine so. I think we'll, uh, if we're in government and we're caught up in government, I can't imagine just uh, saying, oh, well, that's it, chaps, uh, now. Uh, so, no, I'm not, look I'm not planning an exit from politics, but I'm, I'm 48, and uh, when I'm in my 60s, Let's put that time horizon on it. By the time I'm in my 60s, I want to be writing more history books, perhaps with the benefit of having lived through a bit of history along the way. But that's plenty of time yet. And it gives us plenty of time to have you back on Straight Talk. William Higg, thank you for thank being you. on Straight Talk today. Pleasure.